What's going down, everybody? I'm Commander Restless Corpse. Welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, I did some of the boring stuff so that I didn't have to subject you through that. I basically, uh, I, I brought the 50 tea leaves to Brew Tarkin's place, and I did all of the, uh, the creating here to get all the way up to rank 5. Uh, I actually had a decent amount of stuff already, which is really cool. But I did have to grind out like 25% of the final grade with just level 1 efficient weapons here. Um, both of my weapons do... I did upgrade both of my pulse lasers with efficient weapons. One of them even has like the thermal experimental thing on it, which is pretty cool. But they're only grade 1, so they're not that great. Um, but it looks like uh, I'm kind of going back and forth between the efficient weapon... And the overcharge, which is somewhere around here. The overcharge weapon. The problem with the overcharge weapon is the distributed draw is, is terrible. But the damage per second and the damage going up that much might actually make up for that. I'm not real sure. So what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go back to T-Home. I'm going to jump in the FAS. And uh, I'm going to get out there and, and just kill some stuff. Because for this... You know, uh, signal sources, I guess, but I, I might be able to get those from destroyed enemies. I'm not sure. But if we go down to the overcharged weapon, which is what I was kind of thinking of. See, I could not I could not deal with a, a rank one. Anything less than a rank five uh, because of the distributed draw is just too crazy. Um, w with these, I would need uh, I could get those. I think both of those. No, I'd probably have to do, like, missions or something for that, or the settlement data points. It might, might actually be kind of cool. Uh, we might try that out, jump in the SRV and get down there and, and try to do stuff. Um, but for now, we're going to get out into a res, and we're going to be looking for these these things here. Uh, I could hunt down haulage vessels in an anarchy system, probably, to get the conductive polymers. I need to get some more zircon zirconium as well which uh, I think I could just mine for that. And if we go back up to the efficient weapon, uh, cadmium as well, plant surfaces. So, And it needs emission data, which I think my FAS has a wake scanner. I don't know. I, To be honest with the... The distributive draw is crazy, though, on the overcharged weapon. Um... I think for the Diamondback, I'm going to go with Efficient Weapon. But for the FAS, which is what we're going to be doing first, I'm going to go for the Overcharged Weapon. Uh, it just really depends on what I can find, mostly. So I'm going to jump back over to T-Home, jump in the FAS, and uh, we're going to be looking for stuff. So I will see you guys when we get there. And I'm going to, I'm going to pin this guy. So I'll see you in T-Home. In my my murder death ship, the FAS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the Beast, the Federal Assault Ship, and to find proto heat radiators, it looks like I need to find high grade emissions in a system that is experiencing an economic boom. Unfortunately, the hip is not in a state of boom at the moment. As a matter of fact, the hip is in a state of nothing at the moment, but I did find something was that is within a jump. And we're gonna swing on over there. Uh, usually it'll say, oh, we're, we're experiencing a boom, but it's not, I've seen that lately. But uh, we're gonna jump over to Takajandi here, which is uh, in a boom state at the moment. And then we're gonna look for signal sources. Now I've been looking around online um, I think the last time I saw you was maybe 20 minutes ago. In my time, not in yours. And I did some looking uh, on my way back from Bruce's place to Tea Home. Oh, calm down, calm down. And uh, and I, I realized that. So I did hit a an emit like I don't. It was a USS. I don't know what emissions it was but it, it was like decoded emissions or something and I found a, a chemical processor which I think I'm gonna use a uh, need for later uh, but not right now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to Takajandi over here and we're gonna fly out 
a couple thousand light seconds away from the main star and just kind of drift around and look for uh, the signal sources. I'm going to keep you here for a second. I'm not going to cut just yet. And we're going to see if we can find one right off the bat. If we can, then this might go pretty quick. Now, looking on Inara, it looks like Proto heat radiators are very rare within the high grade emissions. So this might take a while, but the proto heat emit or radiators are what I want to focus on right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to work on getting a bunch of those. I don't know how many, it just really depends on how, you know, rare they are. Um, but then after that, we'll, whoa. Have I never been to Takajandi before? I guess I haven't. I also have a decent amount of... Um, I don't remember which one of these has my weapons. But I also have a decent amount of exploration data, which I, I'm going to go ahead and, and keep banking that so that when it comes time to build up serious reputation... I'll probably have a whole bunch that I can sell to them and, and make it go a little faster. That was, uh, that was a suggestion from Commander Ash Poker. And I thought about that on my return from the last expedition. I thought about swinging over to uh, a serious area. So we're not going to go after that one. And trying it. But I was like, look, I, I just need to get home and get rid of this so that I can start making videos. So that was probably a bad idea on my part, uh, but we'll figure it out. I, I'm really not too keen on going back out and doing more exploration anytime soon. Like I, I'm gonna do it because I still haven't gotten elite in exploration. That, no, I don't wanna scan the Viper. High grade emissions. There we fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to jump into this one and see what we can find. Uh, it's zero threat, but I'm going to pop my weapons just in case when we get in there. And hopefully it's got what I'm looking for. But uh, at least we're, we're finding them, which is good. So let's get the hell in here and see. You know, even if it doesn't have what I need, it might have some pretty pretty decent stuff you know I don't remember or even know if you can sell like the materials I don't think you can but it'd still be nice to stock up on some stuff because the pulse lasers aren't the only things that I want to upgrade and I'm sure um, getting you know all kinds of crazy stuff in my hold would be great for when I get to other stuff like I need to up upgrade the armor and you know the engines and, and junk like that so let's go ahead and Get those out and see what we've got going on here. Okay, well, uh, I might need these, since they're alloys, I might actually need these for, you know, armor and junk. But let's, let's, I'm just going to go ahead and scoop up Copy all of these. I will leave you guys here for a second. And uh, we'll go find what we actually need. Well, looky here, the second one. There's four of them just sitting here waiting to be taken. Cargo scoop deployed. And I'm going to go get them. So I think it's pretty cool that I found four right like right off the bat. Uh it it makes me it makes me feel good about getting out here and getting a whole bunch of them. And I did pick up all of the proto alloys in the other USS. So I I think that uh I think we're going to be able to do all right. Now I'm going to grab like several of these. I don't know how many. I think I'm just going to like do it until I don't want to do it anymore, you know? And then we'll start looking for the other stuff as well. And then we're going to go all the way back to brew and fucking pump these lasers up. It's going to be awesome. But I'm going to grab all of these. I'm trying not to hit that thing. There we go. Uh, in the other one, I ran into something and got stuck on it. And it was crazy. And I had to do all kinds of expert flying just to get that thing dislodged off my ship. Uh, but I didn't take any damage. It, it just kind of screwed my shields a little bit. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to grab these. We're going to get back out there and find some more. Oh, another one. This is the very next one, guys. The very next one. I find three. Also, the only signal sources I'm finding out here are high-grade emissions. So uh, we've kind of hit the jackpot. 
on what we're looking for. Now, pair this with the absolute hell it used to be to find this stuff. And I'm thinking that this is like, it's fucking, it's paradise compared to the, like, the amount of work you had used to have to do to find things you needed. Uh, which is why I would assume a lot of you, back when I was doing this stuff before I went out again, uh, were saying that I should probably just wait because it's about to be a lot easier. Now, I haven't tried any of the planetary stuff to, like, find the materials there, but I... I noticed while I was out that, you know, you can, oh, hello, calm down, sir, that you can scan a planet and it'll tell you what's on it now, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm excited about that because no longer will I have to go down onto a planet and spend an hour driving around to see if I can find something there when I can just scan it, take a look. So um, I have a feeling that this isn't going to be nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was like, oh no, now that I've got this thing and I need to find all the stuff, it's going to take forever. But clearly it's not. Now, I did talk about this in, I think, yesterday's video where I was talking about how I was going to start playing Mass Effect Andromeda. I was going to put it on the channel and I was like, if you like space games, uh, maybe and you've never seen or played a Mass Effect game, maybe check that out on the channel. Here's the deal. Last night, I did a lot of, like, I saw something in my recommended YouTube feed that was bitching about Mass Effect Andromeda. And I was like, you know what? Since I'm planning on playing it, I'm a big Mass Effect fan. Let's go ahead and take a look. And I ended up spending hours last night just watching videos. Uh, I don't want that. Um, videos on Mass Effect Andromeda. And it seems to be the, the, the consensus, the majority consensus is that Mass Effect Andromeda has got some serious fucking problems. Because they've done like... Um, Origin kind of did like an early access thing if you if you pay for Origin monthly, which I do not do, so I, I was unable to get it and didn't even know about it until last night anyway. Uh, but apparently, and I, like I said, I watched hours and hours of videos of people showing this and talking about it and stuff. The animations in the game are absolutely fucking terrible. And... And the... the, the like character models are terrible the animations are terrible uh i'm told that through these videos that the uh the game itself isn't nearly as fun like story-wise as the the rest of the mass effect games so while i, I you've the video the first video of the series is probably coming out in a couple hours on my channel since this is always at noon uh, I got the game, I'm going to be getting it tonight, which is last night for you guys. So, chances are, episode one, possibly even more, are already up on the channel. Uh, I'm not getting high grades anymore. Uh, so, so just take a look at it and see for yourself. I, If the game is as crazy as everybody is saying it is, I'm probably just going to have, like, weird fun with the game. Like, I, I don't know. I, it's hard to explain what I'm trying to say here but <laughs> we'll see because the stuff that I was seeing like weird duck walking and and facial expressions that don't make any sense and and characters that just look lifeless and dead who knows man it might be funny we might have a good a good laugh together about the game I'm gonna play it regardless of whether or not it's good because it's a it's a Mass Effect game I haven't decided whether or not I'm actually going to, like, I know I'm going to do at least a first episode, but I might stream the game and put those, the streams up. Who knows? I'll, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to go back to looking for these. I've got seven total at the moment. I want to get way more than that. Um, so I'll see you guys when, I, when I'm all done looking for proto heat radiators. All right. This guy wants to play. Let's play. Oh, really? You're in an Imperial Eagle? You think you can take me down? Come on, dude! Fucking get wrecked. Oh, I forgot. I even have turrets on this thing. Uh, I think that you picked the wrong dude to fuck with, Andrew Panterbrick. 
Seek. Uh, now let's see what he dropped me. N nothing all that great. I mean, shield emitters, I guess. But out this piece. Uh, normally, I would have just taken him down and been on my way. But it's been a while since we've actually gotten into combat. So, you know, and, and that wasn't. <laughs> It's not like that was super exciting or anything. I didn't even run my weapons all the way down fighting that stupid Imperial Eagle. But whatever. You know? Anyway, I haven't found another high-grade emissions since. So we're still looking at seven proto-heat ra radiators. I keep, keep trying to say proto-heat regulators. It's proto-heat radiators. I haven't found any more. Uh, I did, since I had never been to this system, I did scan like an ammonia world and one other world. But I realized that my FAS doesn't have the advanced surface scanner. It just has the basic, I guess. So, eh, whatever. But money's money, even if it's not a lot. And apparently the, the scanner, or I might not even have the basic. I might have the, you don't have one, so this is what you can scan type of thing. Uh, I'll have to check. But I do have an advanced surf surface scanner in my storage because I took it out of the diamond back to put more oh here we go to put more see it I have better luck when I'm talking to you guys I swear to god you guys are like my good luck charms uh, but I took it off the diamond back to make room for more uh, storage space so that I could get those tea leaves because I was tired of doing it in the anaconda so I went and got the diamond back but anyway uh, we're gonna jump in here and also I have a wake scanner but I forget, can you use the wake scanner in Super Cruise? Because I think I need to scan some wakes for the other things for this. Uh, which we'll check out in a second after I grab these. I don't remember if it's just... It says combat vessels. I don't remember if it's just scanning combat vessels or scanning their wakes to get it. And like I said, we'll check uh, as soon as we get into this this uh, USS here. I think at 10 megameters, 11 megameters, something like that, that'll let me in. Oh, 12. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Eh, you know, they're alloys. I'll take them. But let's go ahead and look over here. The emission data. I don't I don't know if that's scanning awake or if that's just scanning the ship itself. So, But this basically means that there is going to have to be some combat very soon to grab this stuff. Okay, so now, unfortunately, deployed. it's getting late. Uh, I've been recording for about an hour and a half, uh, and it's almost time for me to get off my ass and go pick up Mass Effect Andromeda, so I'm probably going to have to go do that pretty soon here. But, it's I mean, it's been a good day. We got Brutarkin up to five, uh, grade five, and we, we found some stuff that I thought was going to take forever, and I think that I had beginner's luck in finding the first seven, because I, I believe it, it might be relatively difficult to find the rest of them but we'll find out but in any case what i'm gonna do i have about an hour whoa whoa pay attention uh i almost fucking salvaged that uh, i have about an hour so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna continue looking for these heat radiators and if i don't find them within the next 20 minutes or so i gotta get ready and, and end this video and go so i will see you guys in a second and uh we're gonna try and find some more High grade emissions. And, you know, maybe interdict a wanted felon or two. Who knows? All right, we're coming up on the last one that I've got time for, but I did do a little bit of reading, and it turns out to find the unexpected emissions data that I'm looking for, I just have to scan combat ships. So, um, in order to do that and also make some money, we're going to be jumping into a res at some point and just killing the shit out of everything. It says they're common. And there's another Cygna source, but fuck it. Uh, we've already got a high-grade emissions, which is what we're looking for. It says they're common, so it shouldn't be too hard to get those after a couple hours in a res. And also make some money, which uh, would be pretty cool. I mean, I'm not hurting for money now, but it would be nice to get a little bit more, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so we'll probably be doing that. And I think the element that I need, I could just mine for. Which should be easy to find. Um, T-Home or the hip, has several different rings and they're all pristine. Ah, we didn't get it. That's okay, because I'm going to grab these. 
because you never know like i said when i start upgrading armor they look like things that you need to put on armors and uh being that they're proto uh might be you know the high grade stuff but anyway i'm gonna grab all this stuff and leave you guys for today because i've got to go pick up mass effect tomorrow i'm probably going to get all of the rest of the radiators that i need like just on my own time and then tomorrow i think we're going to jump into a res and start looking for that unexpected data in any case as usual guys thanks for watching i appreciate each and every one of you and i'll see you guys in the next one eject 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 eject